Yeah, I forgot I could just type in quit. Hi guys, and welcome to the second episode of Analog, a hate story. And Yun Hai wants us to do something else. If you look at your interface, interface, once you open a document, you can click on that little button of me to to show me whatever it is. So, which subject do you want me to know to know more about? Do you have anything else to tell me? Your icon is still there. If you look in your interface, no, nah, okay, okay. Oh, oh wow, sorry, I just you've heard that already, all already, right? I think I just repeated myself there. Sorry, I kind of tend to do that. That's a uh, well, that's a problem with computers. They tend to respond the same way to t through things. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't help it. I won't mention it again, but, well, here. Let me change something to try to make things less confusing for you. If the Speak to Me menu item or the Show Message button is grayed out, that means I have nothing new for you. Hopefully that will help. Otherwise, it's just a weird quirk. You'll have to accept. Sorry. Well, we saw that there was a computer, and we said kind of in the like, last messages thing, that, um... That's not what I wanted to do. I'm kind of used to the... Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna disable AI. And we're gonna enable AI mute. Well then. Never mind. Enable... Let's just go back with the other girl then. Yun Hai. Alright, I thought it was that easy, but apparently it isn't. Uh, okay, so this is complicated. Um, okay. Alright. Pale Bride. Oh, this is why I have the family tree. Kyun Jun Su, no no no, the Pale Bride. Yeah, but we need her birth name because her birth name is the official. Po uh, official genealogies don't list women normally. Wives are noted by their family names, and daughters are omitted entirely. These are the relevant parts of what I was able to piece together from record. As far as the official genealogy is concerned, Yun Seok is the heir to Jung Su and was adopted in 317. Names in red are women. Means the name is forever unknown. Oh, okay. So I need to under I need to know the pale bride's birth name, and that'll be like the password that I'm looking for. Alright. Uh, written by Mute? I'm sorry, I don't really know how I got that in there. Yeah, don't don't pay attention to that, sorry. Not that it really matters, I'll just go ahead and remove that. Really, I'm not normally this much of a clutch, I swear. Huh, huh. That was weird. Okay, well, that was an helpful note, right? Okay, it was written by her, okay. All right. A cliche to remember. Men are honored when I remember. Oh, okay, that's oh, okay. Let me show her that. <laughs> really, this is something you need to keep in mind when reading these logs. It was considered to be natural way of things. Well, what do you think? Well, that's stupid. I know, right? Just absolutely terrible and stupid, but that was normal. So try to keep that in mind. That's what everyone really did believe. Even nearly all of the women. And if that sounds terrible to you, well, you must come from an awfully nicer society. Thanks, Yunhei. I like her, she's cool. Okay. Alright, so the pale bride. I need to show her like the thing with a pale bride. That's it, right? Blah blah blah, it's faith in you that I'm grateful. Bam! Oh, of course, the last person to hold the title of Captain Emperor of the ship was Ryu Hin Ho. 
Which of Captain Rio's ride do you wish to know more about? The Pale Bride, please. Very well. She wrote a lot, this is going to be tricky to filter. I guess I'll just start at the top and let you figure out what's important. Thanks, Yunhai. You're the best. Did I receive new messages then? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, well. The Unsufferable Child. That sounds very Doctor Who-ish. <laughs> the Month of Good Fortune. Okay. The second month of the 319th year was one of the great fortune of the Kim family. While on official business, the Captain and Emperor Ryu confided in him, in me, that he wished that I had a daughter of marriage age to give him. To take a second wife, his, his first wife had been unable to provide a son, and was becoming increasingly concerned that she would, never would. At the start of the month, I had no daughter in my family to give. My only son, Jung Sok, was still without child. Yet, it was, perfect. it was a perfect opportunity. This may sound fan fantastical, but I swear, it is true. Past. Passed on through the generation of the main branch of the Kim family, it is, it is a giant egg. A translucent luster. Alright, what can... Give me information on that egg. I'm afraid nearly everything the man wrote was of very little value. It all reads like that. Boring, stiff, obnoxious, patriarchal. I assure you, real mom. Yes, please. I need all the information. Yeah, I need all the information I can get, you know. I'm sorry. Very well. I've had the other relevant entries from him. I'll caution you from taking him seriously, though. Which means that I need to take him seriously. Okay. So we were here. She is known as the Pale Bride. For the description of the egg, she was entrusted. <laughs> ah, my nose. My nose. I awakened during a time of great prosperity. Yet, as man knows, prosperity is seized. Not waiting on a daughter to provide the emperor with a son would elevate the family above the other noble house once and for all. Considering this, I promised the emperor that I did have a daughter who would soon be of marriage to present to him. Then I smashed the egg, such as a pale bride pass through the Kim family for years could be adopted as my own daughter. She's a strange child, but will make a fine wife for the Emperor. Do you have anything to say about that? Didn't we have this conversation? Okay. Thanks, Yunhei. I thought I could like show you specific pages, but seems like no. The Bride's Adolescence. Broken Promise. I might as well show her everything. Dear Diary. Last week I woke up with cry in from cryostasis before I went in farther. Promise me that I, when I woke up in the future. This is written by who? The Pale Bride. Okay. To our diary, really. That I'd get better. And I might not see him again. But his descendants would make everything right. But the future broke his promise. I'm sacred. I'm scared, sacred, yeah. I'm scared and confused, and I don't get what happened. I think that was a big disaster while I was in stasis or something. Everyone's so uneducated and stupid. Father and mother were kind of dumb at times, but the guy who woke me up, he might be named Kim, but he's nothing like them. Father was wrong. Nothing's better. The future sucks. Alright, tell me about this cryostasis thing. The Pale Bride did an extensive diary. I'll try to find some more entries. That's all? No information? Alright. Thanks, babe. Oh my god. That's a lot of reading. Unsufferable child. Dearest mother, do you recall how in my last letter I mentioned the pale bride being brought into the household? I take back any kind words I might have said about her. That awful child is nothing but, most un but the most unsufferable person I have ever met. I just thought I would have a little more time of peace with Young Sook's adopted mother, visiting her own family. I have been given. Wait, with Young Sook's adopted mother, visiting her own family, I have been given a full responsibility over that miserable child. What happened to my promised domestic bliss? Bliss. She's in trouble so often, one would think she were a boy. That's. Okay. She acts like one too. I suppose I can't. It can be helped. 
She says she's lived her first 12 years in the past, and I can see it. She certainly acts as though she's from a less civilized time. Just last night, she made a huge scene at dinner time. She kept trying to rudely leave a table in front of Yung Seok and father-in-law, loudly insisting that she was too sick to eat. She has said this before too. I was worried, so I had the doctor examine her. She, of course, is in perfect health. When I asked why she thought otherwise, she started talking about how pale and thin she was. She's not truly unhealthy. All she was doing was rubbing it in that she is far more delicate and beautiful than I. What a cruel little child. Why must be she so spiteful of me? To me. I'm sorry about my nose, by the way, guys. Oh, um, do you want to know more about Kim Sung's wife, or do you want to you want to reply from her brother? Her. Very well, I've given up with them. Can I also get the other thing, or do I have to... No. Oh, um... Her mother, too. Yeah, please. You have to understand something. It's traditional for women's letter to be deleted after being read, so the disk space can be reallocated. Women weren't really supposed to read and write. Certainly the, certainly the, noble did. the nobles did. It's just the idea that spending time on education got in the way of the important virtues for a woman which was serving her husband. So, in practice, even if a woman was illiterate, she could at least excuse it by destroying her words afterwards. It's as pretentious if at least the writing wasn't permanent. Well, it's kind of stupid. Yes. Yes, it is. But that's how it is. But regardless, Kim Young Sook's wife was definitely considered a very virtuous woman, so I have none of the letters she received. So, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you anything there. It's alright. Sorry, babe. Okay. This AI is awesome. Okay, held prisoner. Dear diary, today was forced to sit in the home all day. I didn't get to leave yesterday, or the day before that, or the day before that, or the day before that, or any other day either. I want to write about how much of the ship has changed since I was put into stasis. Oh, she's on a ship. But I can't even see it. I keep asking why I'm being kept prisoner. Nobody will tell me. That woman who keeps bossing me around, she's awful. Awful. I'm dying here. I keep telling her I'm sick. That's why I was in stasis to begin with. But she won't listen. She just treats me like a s I'm a stupid child. I tried to argue with her. Look at how pale I am. Can't you see that I'm sick? I swear. I'm not making up anything she said in response. Why must you be so rude? It's not polite for a girl to boast about her beauty. Beauty? I tried not to cry in front of her. I've had to do that a lot. I'm not beautiful, I have a compromised immune system. I shouted at her and ran away. I don't remember what she said back, something about using big words, I think. How stupid is she? She hates me. I don't know why, but she hates me. That's not why I'm not allowed to go visit... That's not why I'm not allowed to visit the ship plaza, though. Hyung Su, the man who keeps telling me to call him father, said the same thing. He promised me that I would have a chance to leave soon, though. I don't think he was being nice, though. I'll write about him more later. Right, I have to go to bed, or the woman's the woman will get mad at me again. I'll just let you keep reading. Please let me know when you read all the ones I just gave you. All right. So there's nothing interesting here. Uh, woman's quarters. Hmm. Dear diary, I got in trouble today, but for the first time, it was my own fault. Uh, a, a little bit, at least. I still think sister-in-law was being crazy about it, but I should have known better. Now that I write, that I uh, now that I write that I look ridiculous. God, what is living with these people doing to me? The computer console in my room doesn't have anything in it. I don't just mean it doesn't have all the cartoons I brought from Earth, or any books or anything. I mean, there's literally nothing there for me to entertain myself with at all. So I thought to myself that maybe sister-in-law's might be different and checked. It wasn't. So instead I decided to go check father's in father's study. Not snooping or anything, just looking on his computer for books. I had a thought that it might be bad, but my real father never would have gotten too upset. What could the arm be? 
I was in there for maybe 10 minutes looking for anything that was even written in Korean. There was nothing, by the way. Every single book, symbols that I looked like, that looked like Chinese characters. Every single one. I think maybe something terrible happened in the past that made, that made all the computer data get deleted. And everyone forgot how to read Korean. And also, uh, I mean, <laughs> ugh. So it kind of bit like uh, what happened to the Egyptians. What happened to the Egyptians that they forgot how to read hieroglyphs. So with that said, they couldn't like take care of the pyramids, and that was kind of the decline of the Egyptian Empire. So that's a bit like what happened here. At least that's that's what I understand from this whole thing so far, at least. And also. They got really stupid about things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the Egyptian. Like, they didn't get stupid about it, but it's just like the information knowledge from the past couldn't be transmitted to the future because the the language that was used was obsolete and there was no, like, in-between. Uh, I don't think I'll ever find out why. It just sucks. Anyway. Anyway, that's what I understand about the thing. That's, that's all I'm saying. Anyway. I was only in there for 10 minutes searching through the console when Jung Seok walked in. I thought he was going to get angry, but actually he just acted like he was really scared. He didn't scold me when he dragged me out, he just looked really worried. I only got in trouble when he brought me back to his wife. He told her, do you have any idea where she was? She was in the men's quarters, looking through father's computer. Do you have any idea how he would react if he saw that? He's supposed to be watching her. She apologized repeatedly to him. I just didn't know what to say. I don't think sister-in-law did either. After he left, she gave me this really long and really awful lecture. Why would you go into the man's quarters? Why would you go looking for books? Why must you be so unfilial? Do you really not understand that you're a girl? I told her I didn't understand. I mean, of course I'm a girl. But I had no idea what she was talking about. When I told her that, she just lectured me more. I hate her so much. I'll just leave it. Okay. You have nothing to... Okay. Thanks anyway. Okay. Well... I'm terribly sorry about my nose, by the way. Straight to hell! Dear Diary, this, this nightmare has gone for so long. I think I'm starting to forget what life used to be like. I have a new theory. Father was wrong about the cryostasis keeping me alive until I could be cured. I think it didn't work at all. I think it... I think I just died and went straight to hell. I decided I'm going to write down all the things I used to be able to do, just so I can remember. I used to be able to read books. I used to be able to have friends. I used to be able to go to school. I used to be able to leave the home and go visit the plaza or anywhere else on the ship. I think I even used to be able to be in any part of the house I wanted and talk to visitors as much as I'd like. I have memory of always spending time with my father and mother and brother in the living room. I know my father thought being respectful was important too, but I don't know. I'm so confused now. I thought you always thought of me to be strong and to speak up for myself. Did he really say that? I'm being sar sarcastic, of course, but... The scary thing is, sometimes, sometimes I really do forget. Sometimes I think if I do, if I was just obedient to what sister-in-law tells me to do, it would make things easier. Maybe I should just give in, give in and be passive. Just sometimes. I'm scared though. What if I end up really believing that? So okay. Maybe it's the Egyptian thing, but I'm also starting to think that maybe it's more of a me medieval thing. Well, you know, the Roman Empire fell to the barbarians and like plunged um, the whole civilization into an age of darkness. Maybe it's like something like that that happened but in the future. So I'm thinking either the knowledge couldn't be passed from past generation to the future generations or there was something awful that happened like in medieval times. That's, that's what I think happens personally right now. I'll just, okay. Sorry to keep bothering you but you know I just want to be sure. Okay. Dear Diary, today I found out why the household servant, I still can't believe we have one, why, has been so insistent on teaching me how to cook. Why she doesn't call it that. She calls it serving meals. A year ago, I wouldn't have thought that sounded sinister. Now I know better. 
I don't care about this. I told her after the seventh day in a row of a lesson, can't we do something else? Like, I'm going to go back to sewing. I always love cosplay. Let's do that. Aw. Oh. I know it's not fun, but your sister wants you to learn this. Too. It was very important. Your father is concerned too, so I take it seriously. Please, young miss. Don't call me that, I said. I don't remember exactly what I said to prompt her next response along the line of, Why is this so important? Or something. I don't remember what I said. Just a response which blew me away. So you'll make a good wife, of course. Again, I don't remember what I said in response. Maybe I told her that I didn't want to. Maybe I told her that I was too young to care about that. Maybe I said I'd just go marry someone who was good at it himself. But when it was time to care about that, whatever I said, she didn't take it seriously. Don't be silly, she said. As if I was obviously joking. Your father really is worried about your marriage next year. Now, it's not a time to joke around on the matter. My what? I asked her. Oh my, she said. He never told you? I'm sorry, forgive me, pretend I said nothing. I didn't mean to ruin your surprise. I'm sure he'd want to explain the happy news himself. Are you serious, I asked. The idea didn't make any sense, but since when did anything in this hell make sense? She said yes. You're going to be so happy to hear who it is. He'd better explain, I shouted as I stormed off. Eat better. So you're still gonna say the same thing? Oh, hi. So, say, do you mind taking a break for a couple of minutes just to chat? No, go ahead. Let me just sneeze a little bit. Oh my god! Disgusting! <laughs> and I, that is the day that I lost all my viewers. Okay. Thanks, I appreciate that. Really, I appreciate that you're here. I know you've got ulterior motive, what they are, I'm not really sure, but most people do. That is all right, all the same. I'm glad you're reading these logs, though. Even if you don't really care, it's better than nobody from outside the ship ever seeing them. Which is what I thought for sure would happen. Or, am I being cynical? If so, my apologies. Please tell me, what do you think about what you've read about the Pale Dry? It's... it's tragic, I think. It's really awful. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm really glad to hear you say that nobody else seemed to think so. There's... something... well, here. I've added another message for you. Well... Why don't you just go read it yourself? Thanks, Yunhei. Your best. That was at the end of it, right? Okay. So I have one last message to read, I think. And then we'll call it quits. Oh, I have two new messages. Well, we'll call it quits here. And um, next time, we're gonna go try and find out what the hell. At least use my real name. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Fuck yeah. Okay, so yeah, next time we're gonna find out about that pale bride, and we're gonna just piece together this mystery, and I'm also going to go throw away this fucking tissue. Jesus Christ. Alright, see you guys next time.